Greetings, fellow noobs! Welcome to another noob cast. We are here on the Shattered Temple with an, a PvP. I haven't done a PvP in a little while. We have our good friend Tazernix who plays for the clan CDG. Um, he once told me what that stood for. But I've already forgotten. So to Zarenix, if you want to let people know in the comments, you can just call me an idiot and let them know. You know what I'm saying? His opponent is Mori. Mori and Mori and Mori. Stargirl reference for anyone who didn't catch that. And if you don't know who Stargirl is... Search for Stargirl. She's awesome. My favorite co-caster. But yeah, I was talking to uh, Digibooty today, and we are... We really want to do some co-casting. I mean, whatever. The whole clan has been wanting to cast together for the longest time, and we haven't been able to do anything like that. You would think because we all live, like, within 20 miles of each other, we'd be able to set something up like that. But, as you know... Real life takes its toll, and you can't do everything you want. Hard enough to set up a land party to play together. But yada yada yada, here we are. But yeah, Digibooty and I, we really want to get together, do some co-casting, and something else is in the works for Noobcast. Uh, I don't want to give anything away. I don't even want to say anything yet because, well, we don't know anything ourselves about it. We are in the brainstorming phase. We do know that uh, we want to grow, we want to do some cool stuff, and we are figuring out what that might be. Uh, so if you have any things that you don't see on this channel that you'd like to see, please let us know. As always, if you have a replay that you would like to see cast, send it to noobcasters at gmail.com. If you have a particular caster that you would like to have cast your replay, feel free to make a request um, just know that Stargirl only does one cast a week so um, if you do request Stargirl to be in your cast um, you might have to wait a while uh, but you know any of the other guys I'm sure would be more than happy to cast Vanny replays Zaranix getting that early zealot pressure going on. It looks, is he doing the, uh... Oh, Mori getting out some probes to help him do a little DPS. More zealot pressure coming out. This is the, yeah, this is the no gas. The no gas, uh... Unless, I don't even see a cyber yet, though, so maybe it's not. Just uh, streaming zealots into Mori's base. Uh, he could by himself take out both of these units. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Oh no, Mori won. But here's two more zealots going to come in and do a number on Mori and Mori and Mori. Take down the weak guy first, brother. And that's exactly what's going to happen. I'd be taking out that cyber instead of, or at least, yeah, there you go. Take down that pylon. Almost done with warp gates. You can take out that pylon before they kill you. Yes, you can. Oh, come on. Take it out. No more cyber and no warp gate. No warp gate tech either. Very nice by Tazarenix. Three zealots. Nope. Now back down to two. Kill the probe gonna try and get all the pylons up that's gonna work is this just gonna be zealot rush oh my goodness only finally got gas but no cyber yet for Tazarenix. I'm very curious about this build if he's just zealot rushing I'm guessing he's going to have to transition at some point Mori finally getting back to uh, getting power up powered up again and Tazarenix getting picked at by the stalker 
and trying to do the economic damage. He's doing a lot of economic damage right now, even though he's not exactly killing a ton of probes. They're not mining, and therefore they are they're doing a lot of uh, he's doing economic damage just by keeping the probes from mining. And now if we take a look at the units tab, we're going to see that Tesseranix is has almost twice the probes as Mori, and so he is going to be able to uh, do much better. Oh, isn't that something? He's going to be able to do much better. He's going to be able to. He's going to be able to do much better. He's going to be able to mine more minerals. Stalker's coming in, and now Tesseranix is going to have his hands full because he is way behind on the. Just in unit production, and he doesn't have um, his warp gates either, and so this is going to be very hard for him to hold off. But he's got probes out here to help, and but this Zella is going to get kited. He's got another stalker coming out, and what well, he's got cannons going up. Not a terrible idea. He's got a forge. And he's mining, but now he's taken a bunch of probes that are mining, so things are going to be, uh... Oh wow, these probes are doing pretty high DPS, and I'm actually pretty stunned at the amount of damage they're doing. But, it's not going to be enough. Um... Oh, now that the cannons are done, he can back... Oh, he got to back him up into the cannon, dude! And finally, another stalker comes out. Go back to work. Go ahead, boys. Go back to work. Pylon done down here. He's going to be able to warp in. To no stalkers. All zealots. Because he doesn't have a lot of gas. Uh, that is going to be very difficult to handle. Got to pull back to the cannons. Very nice. Very nice. Yep. And Mori is going to have to go home. Very nice job holding that off by Tazarinix. I'm pretty impressed getting the plus one uh, attack upgrade going down. Let's take a look here and see what's going on. Army tab, Tazarinix is way ahead. Most of that is probes. As we look at the units tab and see that he has 11, 12 more probes. And But other than that, army is pretty even. Um, so his food advantage is due largely to those probes, and therefore you see the income. He does have quite an advantage, uh, looking at like 300 plus uh, double gas is a huge, huge, huge advantage. So Zaranex has put himself in a very comfortable position here. Uh, and if I am Mori... I am Mori and Mori afraid of what's coming next. He only has three gates. Getting the Robo facility down. Going to be, I'm guessing, trying to get some Memorials and maybe some Colossus. Tazernix doing the best thing you can do when you're ahead is get more ahead. More cannons going down. He's getting his Robo facility down. Level 1 upgrade almost finished. Let's see. What are we going to see come out of this Robo? Is he going to get a observer first, or is he going to go right for the immortal? There's the immortal. All right, immortal first. Not a bad idea. Uh, the problem, of course, in PvP is um, pretty much at any time your opponent can uh, go for Dark Templar, and if you don't have a forge, if you don't have that uh, observer out, you could be a big trouble. But that immortal is going to be helpful. It looks like uh, we're going to see, yeah, things are evening up on the army front because of this expansion. Uh, so that gave Mori the opportunity to catch up food-wise. But I'm guessing if we look at the income tab, he still has a fair advantage in harvesters, though no longer... Oh, he just transferred probes, so that's going to that's gonna swing the other way in just a minute. Although it looks pretty even at the moment, which is it's really strange. Why would it be even? 
Oh, he put a bunch of guys on gas. That's why. That is why. So actually, what was the difference? The difference was 10, 10 probe difference, and there's 12 guys mining gas, so uh, Mori actually should have a greater mineral income at the moment, and he does not anymore. So, but, you know, he's getting killed in gas. Observer gets taken out. Tazarenix is going to break down these rocks so he can get his third. That would be the next step. Lots of back and forth early here, but of course things are going to slow down in the mid game. You can get that plus one armor at any time. And Tazarenix is going to forego the Immortal completely, go right for the Colossus. I approve of that. Here's the Observer from Mori going to come in here and get stomped because there's cannons everywhere so I'm guessing he did not uh, I'm guessing he was not able to see oh he knows about it he does know about the colossi so so much for hiding it he knows about the robo bay and here comes the second colossi getting chronoed out plus one armor going down Thermal Lance just about finished, and now we see the same coming from Mori. He's got his Colossus out. Still only three gates. I'm marveling. Not a ton of production. Well, I guess he's only on one base, so he can't do any more than that. And I guess the only difference is the forge and the cannon, so... Getting another gate. Nope, another Robo facility. Not another... Yeah. Huh. I wonder. Two base. He can get another gate. He can get another two gates. He should get another two gates. Get that Twilight Council. So he can continue to get the upgrades. Here comes Mori coming in for the attack. Doesn't really know what he's walking into. Uh, both guys. I don't know if Mori has his Thermal Lance or not. Nope, he does not does not appear as though he does, but it looks like his... Wow. Wow! Mori just decimated Tazernix's army. I'm so surprised he did not have the upgrades. The... How could the Immortal on its own do that much damage? Now we have three Colossus against a few Stalkers, an Immortal, and a Colossus. This just doesn't seem right does not seem right. Something is wrong here. The Immortal must just be doing so much damage. Um, the second Robo and the Twilight Council did go down. And Tazarenix is going to not... What is happening? Finally the Immortal goes down. Zarenix trying to kite against these Colossus, and Mori just wants to keep him alive at this point. And Zarenix is going to let him walk. Very nice back and forth here. I am so curious about what happened in that battle. Was there a Guardian Shield? There must have been a Guardian Shield, and I just didn't notice it, or what? I mean, I can't account for that in any other way, other than the fact that there must have been... Guardian Shield on Mori's army for the most of that battle. <sighs> Zarenix breaking down those rocks, looking to take his third. Mori's expansion just now really getting up and running and pumping. Um, Mori, I'm really surprised at how well he was able to keep up with Zarenix on one base. Now getting a Stargate. What is he going to get? Probably some Phoenix. Um, or maybe a Void Ray. Or nothing yet. Not really sure. Oh, he didn't even have Thermal Lance that whole time. What in the world is going on here? I'm so confused by that last battle. I don't want to go back and watch it, but I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to watch it again after this is done because it was two Colossus 
and some ground units. I mean, maybe I'm maybe more had more ground units, but there was a bunch of stalkers, a few zealots, more zealots perhaps than Mori had, who had more stalkers. Sarenix again is third up here at the top, um, at the top of the hill, obviously bottom left, bottom right. I mean. <sighs> And Tazarenix had his Thermal Lance completed, but Mori didn't. He did have an Immortal and a Sentry, which Tazarenix did not have, but now he's got so many Colossus, so many more Colossus than his opponent. He's going to be able to do all kinds of damage. Um, can Tazarenix see this? Yes, he can. Is he going to move in? Is he going to move at all? Is the answer is no. He better get a move on, though, because bad news is a coming. Here they come. And here comes Tazarenix's army. A lot of Colossus. It looks like he's going to sack this Nexus and not even try, but he's going to move in directly afterwards and attack, but there's no way Mori's going to attack into this. This is seven Colossus and a crap ton of Stalkers, and there's no way, regardless of what happened last time, there's no way that Mori is going to survive this, and his Colossus are going to melt away. These guys are 1-1. One, one. Mori leaves the game. I'm going to have to go back and look at that one battle because it probably should have been over much earlier than than this. Uh, because again, Mori didn't have any upgrades either, so... I am Betty confused on how he won that first battle. Maybe Tazarenix can shed some light. Uh, but I'll watch it again. Maybe you'll put some in the comments. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Keep climbing that ladder.